while I think on. Hello. Today is the seventh. Uh, Thank you. Seventh of February. Yeah, I can't, can't get Bobby. Seventh of February. The Grand China next door, so the big Chinese at Last Yester, just so that you're aware, is closed for the next five weeks. They're having a complete refurb again. Again. Flipping neck. They've only just done. I'm, I'm, I'm Lisa. Flipping. I want your ornaments for my garden. <laughs> if you're getting rid of any of them big Chinese ornaments, you know who will have them. Tell her. Who would knock on the door and tell her? Anyway, on that note, cue the music. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. I'm on woman today. I keep forgetting to do this. Okay, since January, this has been um, a legal thing that's came in in January, and lots of people have forgot about it not been mentioned about it but just so you know if you own a car here in Spain or if you are renting a car in Spain or a vehicle shall we say since January it's been a legal requirement to display the eco sticker when you're going into a town or city with more than 50,000 inhabitants if you hire a car and it's not got one in the window tell them you need one in the window and I'll show you Helen's in a minute um, if you've got your own car here you can get it at the Correos, basically the post office, take all your car details in, I think it's a fiver, or if you don't want to queue because it's been a nightmare and some of them have been selling, selling out of particular stickers because I think there's four types, I'll put them on the screen here. The, what you need to do is go to, I think it's Correos.es, and I think it's 650 and they'll get posted to you. But you're looking for something like that and you need to put them in that particular area of the windscreen, just so you know. Morning. Morning. There's two. Then there were two. Bob's. It's full of cold. So yeah. as, as are we, but we're doing shopping. So. Last night we didn't go anywhere because we were coughing and barking like. We don't feel particularly Ill. crap, but just, it's just not fair on everybody to be coughing and spluttering around and while they're trying to eat food. Yes. We were going to try, uh, we were going to have a king kebab last night, but they're closed. King I Food House is closed. I think, I think the refurb closed over, over, over January. And I mean, we're just in the beginning of February now, but still closed. Oh, by the way, last night we ended up getting um, a delivery from the Siciliana and we ordered it on Glovo. So if any of you are here and you want to deliver it, they're on Glovo. And if you're local, it's one euro forty nine for the delivery charge on Glovo. We're in Altos del Limonar and there's some... There's some more new places that look like they're opening, so if you can... So you've got the Chinese shop over there, you've got the barbecue place that does, like, smokers and things like that. They're proper specialist barbecue, not just your typical things you buy in carry for, etc. But we just noticed here, there's a bar restaurant in Beijing, which we've not seen before, and there's a cafe in Amberes. Belgian beers, we've not seen that before, but I don't think that one's opened yet. Then we've got Rendezvous. If you, Which has been here for a long time. If you've ever been to Portico Mall or seen our video <laughs> on Portico Mall, the menu is very similar. Apparently, the chef's there. Used to work at Portico. Uh, and King Food House, Shannon's, Concerto, which was in the video the other week, uh, Siciliana, which is, is where it? we got, yeah. yeah, we've done that a couple of times. Uh, and we're going to try it's breakfast. King Kebab, it's King Kebab off Yeah, King Kebab, sorry, at the end. And we're going to try breakfast at Dave's Place, see if it's any good. I'll let you know, or not. Change your plan, Dave's Place don't do breakfast. Well, they don't open until 12 o'clock now, so that's a no. Oh, they only take cash, yeah. just as a heads up. On the street behind where we've just been, Shannon's goes all the way through, by the way, so you can so, get Shannon's from this side and from the other side. We've decided we're going to try another place that we've not tried before, called Bake and Butty. We'll let you know. Or Indeed. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> One coffee. That's a small breakfast, but that's for four euros for the small breakfast. I've got a breakfast wrap. I think it's 4 90 for the breakfast wrap. Yes. That was alright. Yeah. If you're local and if you're not prepared to travel any further. It cost us 11 .90 in total. That was for my breakfast and his breakfast wrap and two big coffees. Uh, anyway, it, it went alright. I mean, I've had a lot better. I've also had a lot worse. Now, if you've not been here for a while, you're in for a bit of a shock. You uh, really are. Iceland. This, yeah. In oh, Torrevieca. Yeah, also known as overseas food. Um, and just have a look at the size. I'm not going to say any more on that.
not be able to tell from the video, but what's happened is, just over here, if you look over here, okay. they've put a false wall in, so the shop is only the half the size that it used to be. Literally, because they've brought, they've brought both lots of walls <laughs> in. Check this out, Maddie. Thanks. I look, look nothing like Maddie's food. Who knows? It smells <coughs> great. Look at this. Now, it's not burnt, it's black pudding. It's more thea. And it's bubbling, look at it. I don't know. Bet you wish you were here right now. So you've made it with recipe provided by Maddie. From Alex's grandma. Yeah. I think it is good. Oh, it's hot though. Yeah. Jessica? Mm -hmm. How is it? Well, flipping hot and also really tasty. Um, so, two morning, cameras. Yeah, morning. It morning. Is Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, the 5th of February, and we've come today to have a look at Warrawella City for the medieval market, which is in the background there. We've never been here before. We've not really been to Orwell, really. No, Orwell actually looks lovely. We need to come back here and do a, do a proper sort of nudge around the city itself. It's about half an hour from Torrey Vieja, I think. Yeah, you're, yeah, it's inland a little bit. So this is the medieval market. It started on Friday and today is the last day. So we're going to, I would imagine, eat some food, have a good look around and go we'll on and see what you think. Uh, just so that you're aware. <laughs> I'll give it, yeah. I'll, I'll give it. Just so that you're aware, there are buses. Uh, David and Rose do bus trips, but there's also buses from Overwell Acosta, from Hunter Cream World Player from Inca that were free as well. David and Rose's work. And actually, we've, we've driven here, but now we see why it would have been a good idea to come on a bus because finding a parking space has probably took us about 30 minutes. Yes. So not easy. Anyway, yes. Anyway, let's go and have a look. This incident in Hal is one of the biggest medieval markets in the area, from what we know. And it's really, really busy. A lady's just tapped me on my shoulder and told me to put my bag on my front. So obviously there must be pick pockets about. Yeah, and, there's, uh, and that's a security bag as well, actually. Size of my hand, they are bigger than my hand. How would you Four euros, do you want one between us? Yeah, what flavour are they? Uh, queso more. Now these uh, empanadillas are four euros, so as big as the hand. Yeah. Well, so it's like yeah. more tea. Yeah. Like we didn't have enough more tea last night. Looks like he's got quite a bit of stuff in it as well, quite a bit of filling. What I will say is, if you're not good in crowded places, maybe go to the one in Los Angeles instead of this one. 
really, really, really crowded. You're having to, this, this little bit's not so bad, but you're having to fight your way through the crowds to get any further on. Just a heads up for you. So this is where it's going to get expensive. They've got free samples. I can't see with my glasses on. They've got free samples of food in there. And Andy is about to start eating cheese and sausage. So we've got Colombian. a Colombian coffee. It's nice and strong. My dad's got three sweeteners in his and says he needs another one. I've got two in mine. It's a bit bitter. Andy's got one, we'll see what he thinks in a minute. Is that a bit strong for you? Yeah. But it's all right. Yeah. What are you saying? So that's better with four in. Four sweeteners in a little, look how little it is. I've got two in mine. What did you say? It's better now you've got 16 sugars in it, Andy. Yeah, it could do with it. This here is half a suckling pig. Hot chocolate. And churros. And it's it's Valor chocolate. It's not for me. Gracias. Yum yum. Mm. Nice. I want it all on my face, yeah. <laughs> you couldn't eat a full one? No, definitely not. And you probably wouldn't have looked that like it because it's Nutella. Yeah, not which chocolate. does surprise me. But very, I feel like I've got it all over my mouth. German sausage? Oh. I would say right now, what we've seen so far is roughly the size of what it is in Los Alcatraz. <laughs> and we've just come into another square, so huge.
Just to give you an idea how much the stuff is. So a ration for sausage, it's like 15 euros. Chicken thighs, 15 euros. Um, mixed grill, 40 euros. Our big market. Which is probably just gonna be selling the same stuff as what we've seen everywhere, everywhere else. else. Well, it's just very repetitive. Yes. Apart from them, they're scary. Them dolls are scarier. But it's, I, I think they're great. Even though they are repetitive. Wow. There's something a little bit different. Now we've done it. Now we've done this one. I think I would say, come on a bus. If we come next year, we'll come on the bus, even though it's um, it's a long time that we we'll here and Andy. Andy said he wouldn't want to, but they can't have a time in the evening. Well, we can try the night one next year. I do believe that's about it from us here at the Medieval Market here in Oberwella. It is certainly. We're just about out. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a one of them. Oh, one of them. And, uh, Leave us a comment. See you next time. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto.